So then if you get the okay on the outline, yes. and what's day one of pages like? Day one of pages is, and I'll just give you an example because last Monday I turned it into an assignment. So day one of pages is like starting a new job, except it's at my office. You know, it's the same familiar surroundings, but it's starting a new job. And luckily there wasn't a great amount of time between me finishing the treatment and, and the company saying go because I like it when it's fresh still that I can jump right on rather than this, you know, there's a momentum that's really important about things like that. And so I sit down and today's my first day of writing and I look at my calendar and I know that I have 30 days. And so I do the math <laughs> and I divide up the days and I say, okay, I should, and I leave myself about a three or four days at the end of, of you know, I'm not just gonna say fade out the end and turn in the script. I, I wanna look it over, I wanna fix things, I wanna polish it, but I don't wanna be doing that as I'm writing it because I can't do that. I have to push forward and that's why a lot of times uh, in the one I just turned in, I, I reread it from start to finish and I was like, oh, but I didn't revisit it for almost a month ago, right? Because I started and I was like, that's not, that's not bad. You know, I started having a feel that I didn't quite remember if this was good or bad and that there's some days when I think, this is good writing and there's other days I'm like, this is not good. But I always have my backup guide is my treatment that I've worked on. So there, I'm not just left hanging in the wind, you know. But I get, did get into a point um, and it took a few days that I had about a five or six page gap in the, in the story where I was going to come up short, you know, and I have a mandate about how many pages the script has to be. And I was like, how did I come up short? And I find this too, sometimes when I consult on people's treatments, I say, you don't have enough story to facilitate 100 pages here. You think you do, but you know, they, in, they put into a half a page description and I can break that down and say, in an actual page of script, that's gonna be about a half a page. You know, that's not, this needs to be four or five pages of, of a sequence, you know what I mean? So they come up short uh, many times. So I worked through that. But like I said, I had my treatment to, to fall back on and I knew these characters. So if I just let the characters run, you know, they're gonna, you know, you're, I'm, they're gonna follow them. They're not gonna follow me. I'm just gonna, you know what I mean? I think, you know, when, when you know your characters, you follow them and let them run off and say, wait and say, I got it, you know. And so um, that, was, that was the first day. And I, so I was uh, about three pages a day, which is a luxury. But I've also worked on scripts where I had to do eight to 10 pages a day. And I mean, if you miss a day, and you can't miss a day, uh, and there's, you know, there's things in life that happen and a lot of stuff goes on, but, but it's a day job. I mean, it's a day or a night job and I'm lucky that I can push my schedule where my day can start um, at three o'clock and go till late. You know what I mean? I can shift it, which is good. And that, uh, a few years ago, I was working on an assignment and that really messed me up because I was, I was worried more about how I was starting my day so late. And I said, why don't you just relax and, and, and accept the fact that your day starts at two o'clock. And I did, and you know what? It was great. Once I let go of that, I was, I was productive for the next you know, eight hours. So you know, shifting the, the time helps. But again, I have, I don't say the luxury, but that is my job to do that, to work all day on the script. And so I better be doing that, you know? Well, I'm sure you trust yourself more now, maybe. Because yes. in the beginning, maybe it's scary because you're like... Because you don't know, without the experience of writing multiple screenplays and being, you know, muddied in the trenches and, do, you know, fail, you don't know your, your abilities. And so, you know, I'm not overly confident, but I know what I can do. So I say, okay. And then I met the deadline for this last job and I had three or four days left over. And so that was a luxury to be just now I can, ah, and it felt great. The night before it was due, I, I, I turned in, you know, emailed the script. And so that morning the producer would get up and, and sure enough, you know, here it is, just like I said, you know, and, and, and you always have to be building your integrity constantly. And they don't, they don't want to have to worry about you. Um, the one that's, that's shooting now, a film that I have shooting in Los Angeles, the producer was doing other movies at the same time. And he didn't want to have to worry about me. You know, check up all if I'm doing the job and all, you know, and that's a good place to be because you don't have to worry about me. 
you know, I, you know, and so you only, you only do that by, by, you know, your experiences. When you turn in one job and work with somebody, they go, oh, okay. You turn in another, oh, now that's just the, the norm. Your integrity is, is built there, you know, which is, which is also vital uh, for any screenwriting career is your professionalism and, and your integrity. So in the beginning when you would start, let's say, a new script once you received the outline, would you do like 8 a.m. and the coffee's there and you're, okay, this is it, the clock's ticking, or I mean, yeah. how, how were you able to finally say, you know what, I'm better at 2 o'clock. I know myself. I know how I need to have lunch first. I need to do all these different things, yeah. clear my mind. There are and breaks, but also um, the day gets away, you know, and that's not good either. And so I'm, I don't have to... You know, eight o'clock, bing, okay, I gotta go, you know, but you know, I ease into the morning and then start work. And, you know, I mean, three pages a day is a luxury, but, you know, eight or 10, that, those are rough days, you know, and some days you're not as productive and you don't meet that deadline. And, but the other days you, you explode into 12 pages. You know, how did that happen? So it kind of evens out. But, but if you're doing fewer pages a day, you know, you, know, you only have so much time. That's why I say when writers are doing their specs, set your own self-imposed deadline. Don't let it be open-ended where, you know, oh yeah, I was working on this last year and uh, Christmas came, but you know, because you're going to need that training, you know, and even while you're working in it with experience, it's still difficult. You got to stay on, because you're your own boss. No one's, no one's calling me saying, are you working today? And the day goes on and then, you know, I, I mean, you got to really stay on it and, and realize, um, there's a lot of self-work. I mean, it's like you're your own boss and it's good in one way. People say, oh, I would love to do that. But with that comes a lot of responsibility, you know, in keeping to that, that point. And with that, are you ever saying to yourself, okay, now it's time to turn off? Because yes. there is a fear that runs in with being your own boss where yes. what if I don't? And, and so, but are there ever points where you say, you know what, I need to stop now? Yes, I usually, um, when I feel that it's, it was been, it's been a good day, of writing, there'll be a point, and I forgot which writer um, said this, famous writer, that, you know, leave something, leave something more tomorrow to come back to, you know? And I always look at my characters like they're waiting, going, okay, you know, we we're just had us at the end of the cliff. What are we, uh, we gotta wait till tomorrow, you know? Don't have them jump the cliff and then go to bed, you know? So when I would finish a day's work, um, it would feel good to clock out, so to speak, at six o'clock where I go, I'm done, you know, but I also knew that if I was behind and in trouble, I have the rest of the night, you know, whatever needs to be done. And, but I would prefer not to do that. And also weekends too. A lot of people say, you know, screenwriters don't always get weekends off. And so my friends who have day jobs, uh, I go, you work Monday through Friday. I work, you know, sometimes my weekends are, you know, Monday and Tuesday. You know, Saturday, I have to hit the bricks, you know, and, and, and do the work, and that's okay. But they're like, well, I can't, you know, you know it's, it's just what happens, and it's fine. But, but the, the ability to shift the schedule is, is one of the things that I enjoy, and also the ability to write anywhere in the world. Uh, last year, I was in Italy for six weeks, and I wrote, I wrote a, a job that I got in Los Angeles. So the producer didn't care where I was. Nice. We communicated, but that was part of the initial... Um, uh, attraction of being a writer was that you didn't need a big crew and you didn't need all these, you know, spend two years on a project that you could be uh, in a cafe somewhere, you know, in an Italian island writing a movie. Nice. So that, that, uh, but you also, bottom line is you have to write and stick to a schedule. I mean, that's just, that's vital. That would be very distracting. It is. I thought it would be, <laughs> I thought it would be, I thought it would be, um, you know, I'm inside. I'm like, oh, but there's all this stuff outside that I should do. The Vatican. I want to see the Vatican. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but you get over that when you're like, okay, I have to work. You know, that helped me to go there. So, right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? That's true. Yeah. For six weeks. So who, who am I to complain? Right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. 